60 seconds on how doctors are formed in the United States. Again, this is a bit of a caricature, but what happens is an otherwise relatively normal person goes to medical school, <laughs> and they take their first course <clears throat> and get their first patient who is dead. And with their cadaver, they begin to study anatomy, and they learn where all the pieces are. They learn where all the molecules are sitting when they're still. Then they move on to their next course, which is called physiology. And in physiology, they begin to study what it looks like for these molecules to move in the right direction. Their next course is pathology. And in pathology, they learn what rogue molecules look like that are moving in the wrong direction or threatening to slow down and stop moving at all. <coughs> then they go to the wards and they begin to learn surgical and medical techniques to make the rogue molecules go back in the right direction. Or if they're slowing down, make them speed back up. And then they graduate from medical school and they're a doctor. And they've achieved two things. Number one, they've acquired a definition of life. Definition of life is molecules moving in the right direction. And the second thing they've acquired is a vocation. Their vocation is when molecules are moving in the wrong direction or threatening to slow down, figure out a way to make them move in the right direction. That's their definition of life, and that's their vocation. That was mine. The problem that comes up is that there's an enormous amount lost when we think that this approach to illness, to suffering, to dying, to a human experience that everyone in this room at some point is going to have, there's an enormous amount lost when we try to reduce it to the language of molecules moving in the right direction, the language of biology. What happened to the rest of the story? So our contention is that theology and the arts has a lot to say to bring the rest of the story back into the picture and to radically rethink the way that we approach the human experience of illness, suffering, and dying for the sake of the people who are having the experience and for the sake of the people who care for them. Mm -hmm.